Bonjour Tristesse is a novel penned by the French author François Sagan, released in 1954, when the author was merely 18 years old. The story revolves around the central character, Cécile, who resides with her affluent father, Raymond, on the picturesque French Riviera. However, their tranquil existence takes an unexpected turn when Anne, a sophisticated and cultured friend of Raymond's late wife, enters their lives. Raymond quickly falls for Anne's charms, leaving Cécile, concerned about the potential disruption to their idyllic lifestyle. As Raymond strives to distance himself from his former playboy ways, Cécile teams up with Raymond's mistress, Elsa, to dismantle his relationship with Anne, ultimately leading to tragic consequences. The novel delves into themes of coming of age, jealousy, and the intricate dynamics between fathers and daughters. Despite facing mixed critical reception, Bonjour Tristesse became an instant success, propelling its young author into a flourishing writing career. While the book attracted criticism for its explicit sexual themes and its protagonist's unlikable traits, it achieved commercial triumph and went on to be recognized as one of Le Monde's 100 books of the century. The story was also adapted into a film in 1958, directed by Otto Preminger and featuring Deborah Kerr and David Niven as and and Raymond, respectively. The narrative of Bonjour Tristes commences during a leisurely summer, with teenage Cécile and her playboy father Raymond enjoying their time in a rented villa on the enchanting French Riviera. Accompanying them is Elsa, Raymond's current mistress, a young redhead whom Cécile perceives as non-threatening to her own bond with her father. The trio relishes their carefree days, basking on the beach, while Cécile appreciates the respite from her academic struggles. Although Raymond is aware of his daughter's recent academic failures, he remains unconcerned and avoids exerting strictness upon her. One fateful day, Raymond announces that he has invited his old friend, and Larson, to join them at the villa. And, a close friend of Raymond's late wife, had sporadically crossed paths with Cécile over the 15 years since her mother's passing. While Cécile holds a fondness for Anne, she is aware of her serious and traditional nature, as and has persistently attempted to instill a sense of parental responsibility in Raymond. Upon learning that and will be staying with them, Cécile becomes apprehensive about the potential disruption to their relaxed dynamic and the possible departure of Elsa. Raymond welcomes Anne's arrival with delight, but Cécile finds herself torn, and Elsa feels threatened. As time progresses, it becomes evident that a deep connection forms between Raymond and Anne. Cécile begins to admire Anne's sophistication, intellect, and successful career as a fashion designer. Anne's presence at the villa brings a renewed emphasis on principled and purposeful living. Raymond starts to recognize that he has done a disservice to Cécile by allowing her to lead such a shallow existence. However, Cécile grows concerned as she witnesses her father becoming more serious and conforming as he becomes closer to Anne. In an effort to distract herself from these changes in her father, Cécile embarks on a romantic relationship with Cyril, a young law student who falls passionately in love with her and proposes marriage. Meanwhile, Raymond contemplates proposing to Anne. When he confides in Cécile about his intentions, she is torn. While she sees the potential for Anne to become part of their family, she worries about the influence Anne might have on her father and their unconventional way of life. Cécile's concerns about Anne's conventional outlook threaten to disrupt their unique bond. In the end, Cécile's fear of losing their cherished way of life outweighs her optimism for the future. Determined to prevent the wedding at all costs, she devises a plan involving Cyril and Elsa. The scheme entails the two young adults pretending to be lovers, with the intention of evoking jealousy in Raymond. Cécile believes that his vanity will drive him back to Elsa, proving that he can still captivate a younger woman. Cyril, though hesitant, agrees to participate in the plan out of his desire to bring happiness to Cécile. Elsa, on the other hand, sees this as an opportunity to win Raymond back and persuade him to marry her. Cécile orchestrates a scenario where Raymond witnesses Elsa and Cyril pretending to be a couple, successfully evoking his jealousy. Still harboring feelings for Elsa, Raymond succumbs to his emotions and kisses her when they are alone, unbeknownst to Anne. Cécile ensures that Anne witnesses the intimate moment, devastating her. Overwhelmed by Raymond's betrayal, Anne hastily retreats to her car and speeds away from the village. Despite Raymond's attempts to stop her, he fails to reach her in time. An accident occurs, and Anne's car plummets off a cliff, resulting in her tragic death. While the police rule it as an accident, 
Cecile carries the weight of her role in the scheme and cannot shake the thought that Anne's death might have been a result of her own actions. Following the funeral, both Cecile and Raymond find themselves burdened by guilt due to their respective roles in Anne's demise. However, as time passes, they gradually return to their familiar, pleasure-seeking lifestyle, and life seems to regain a semblance of normalcy. Francois Sagan, the author of Bonjour Tristes, was a notable French writer known for her extensive literary repertoire, including 20 novels, three collections of short stories, nine plays, and 15 autobiographical works, eight of which were published posthumously. She also ventured into biography writing, with notable works on Bridget Bardot and Sarah Bernhard. Sagan's life was portrayed in the 2008 biographical film Sagan, featuring Sylvie Testu in the leading role. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.